everybody we've got the windows in little primer spots checked and cleaned and and um, all the windows are in up here except for one and I want to show y'all something uh, stay tuned to this because I'm showing you a little trick here um, I'm sure if you've got an RV like this is a standard RV window and some of them that open like um, that are slats or whatever they'll have the same problems but you're gonna see this right here you see that where they start to separate now what I'm going to show you here is going to really help you out a lot and it's going to help you fix this problem with the right stuff all right so let's get over here right quick and what I'm going to show you here is a window repair technique that we use and y'all have seen this in my videos before now this is different and I'll put the link below the video because you can't get this one everywhere you got to kind of be sort of pro to get this but it is really really good stuff and it, it's called Dynaflex, it's a DAP product, so you know DAP's been around for like a hundred years. And this stuff here, now you can get it in numerous colors. I'm gonna put a link to the black. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because most of these RVs trim, and let me show you this, like around the doors, you'll see the trim that goes around here. Um, you can use this also for that same stuff. So you'll see that black bead that goes around there. Now, this is a typical RV window, modern style. This is rounded corner, but they have the square that uses the same stuff. You'll find that there's retraction. That's what this is called. As the rubber ages, uh, it's a vinyl rubber mix. As it ages, it'll shrink. And the way that you have uh, the corners, you'll see them start to separate. There's a little bit of tissue in there where we've been cleaning it, but they'll start to separate a little bit. Now that one's already been done. I just finished it and went and got another tube and I'm gonna show you how this one here is done. And you literally, if you allow this to be cleaned with alcohol and dry well, um, about 10 minutes, then you can just literally fill it in and take a profile like a card or something. In my case, my profile is just gonna be a paper roll piece and I'm just gonna go across it and it's gonna look like the rest of this it will stretch. That's what I'm going to show you here. This will stretch to fit and it will continue. Crack proof, WeatherMax technology, it will continue to stretch up to one third of its actual uh, filler point. So in this case here, if this was to retract another quarter inch, which is possible over five more years, it could. Um, as the chemical leaches out of this, it does shrink. That will keep it solid. So let me show you here. I'm gonna put that in a gun and we're going to get that put in the hole there. All right, so we've got it set up in the caulk gun. And now if you'll see a little bit of uh, powdery residue that's up in here, it's actually the glue on the other side of the glass. It's actually clean. And I'm going to start by pushing into that corner this caulk here. And you'll see it comes out a little gray, but it'll stay black. And I'm gonna just slowly allow it to work in all the way down Now we've done this a lot on RVs and I'll put it a little heavy because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that piece of paper and I'm just going to put it like this and kind of give it a little push down and draw it outward the same way here on the edge now you can take a little bit of alcohol and put it on your finger so just a bottle of alcohol barely splash it on your finger you don't want it real wet like that and you'll finish the top of that off and then what's left, you can take a razor blade and clean up, or like me, I just work it down there until it's sealed up. So now what you'll see is that Dynaflex right there is an easy, quick solution to getting your window sealed back up. Now I'll do a little more cleaning and finishing to make it look smooth like the rest, but a little alcohol on your finger, this cleans off well alcohol and clean this off your fingers too. Y'all be good.